But here we are. I finally get my chance. I finally get what I have been begging for for like three years. I finally get my chance to race Chief. Unfortunately, it's not for the number one spot like I wanted, but hey, it's still a list race for Chief, and I am as excited as I could ever be. I'm racing Chief. I'm pretty nervous. Why are you just nervous? I always am when I race him or Sean or Dave, one of the big guys. It's hey, always Sean, do. These are my rivals. I've been racing these guys for 10 plus years, you know? Normally, I wouldn't even question this one, but <laughs> if I went against Doc, I get to call Chucky back out and try and avenge that loss, and I'll have one hit on the road. He'll be off the trailer, you know? Like, this is the golden ticket right here. If I can capitalize on this one and stop our fall, here I am, number six, defending my number six spot. It's been a long time since I raced Doc. The only thing that I do know about Doc, just from flagging his races, is that he nails the light. His car 60 foots really well, and to be honest, his car is running really good. So the only chance that I have is making a very fast straight pass and killing it on the light in order to beat Doc. Oh, if we lose to Doc, I'm not speaking to you for a couple days, car. But that's even harder because I'm trying tons of new stuff to go faster this season. I'm running my lockup torque converter, but I don't have any good data for it yet. Plus, I'm running a much more intense mixture of nitromethane. And sometimes when you change too much at once, it can be a disaster. You ready? You ready? Down there on the big end. Give me just a second. It was that close. Okay. Ooh. Nice. It was that close. He's gonna take a look. Nice. What a race, baby. What a race. Damn, baby. Nice job. You were right there. Nice the whole job. Man. That's a fast six and seven race right there. I'm telling you. Dude, that's, there's no way those two passes should have been for six and seven. Dog by a fender. All right, dog by a fender. Chuck bangs the light, and we're gone. I don't know what it is. Me and Doc are known for being good on the light. It's our thing. So when we're racing each other, he knows I'm going to be on the light. I know he's going to be on the light. I could see him. I reached over and hit my own button, and I just never seen him again. I just won the Super Bowl for number six. That was a jump bigger. Just they look like both of them jump. So what do you do there? You call it a drag race. You call if, it if, they, if they both crack at the exact same time, it's a race. Both of them left, and then the light comes on. Yeah. But who jumped first? I knew I jumped, but I looked over, and he's already out on me. And I'm thinking, how in the did I jump, and Doc is now ahead of me? Either he is really fast, or we both jumped, which is rare. Boom. Oh, yeah. Look, no. Hey, they both, hey, Doc jumped. Doc left first. Just don't say that, no, I really? Swear to God, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Hey. God, Chuck, you're going to be a Take that away from Doc. Damn. He was on top That's of my up. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going to call you out, I guess. I think we should look at the video. OK. Um, if you look at it, the light's not on. Doc's tire's clean. Okay. This is not. My tire isn't wrinkled? Worse, right? Yeah, if, it's, is if his worse. is wrinkled and mine ain't, and the light ain't on, Video. I don't want that's it. easy. You, here, you can look at it. All right. Here's what it you is. Go, By that right there? Just to make it official, I'm calling you. Get in and I got you. By that right there, Doc Jump. By that right there. Hey, Doc, come here. Hey, tell me, that patch you just made, if you're on the light like you always are, you ain't got nothing to worry about, for real. I know, I just sucks. I've been I know. working my ass off. We, hey, we both I have, mean, brother. I promise. Hey, ain't neither one of us going to get it for free. I promise you, OK? That was fast. You got nothing to worry about. Rumor has it you're wanting to race Doc again, like right now. 
I want to race. I want to race hits. right now. It's hits. It's I need data. the pass. Yep. Doc calls me out. I need to make corrections to the car on a consistent basis, round after round, so that I can get faster. You cannot do that by waiting a week. I'm in the same boat. However, Chuck's got a lifter stuck in his block. Didn't he just call you out? He said he thought it was a rocker arm when he called me out, but it's like it chewed up the cup. If I can talk Doc into racing me, I'll give him whatever lane he wants. I know he wants to race. His car's hauling ass. If I can talk him into it, can we jump ahead of y'all? As luck would have it, Chuck and Dominator aren't racing, so I get the pass on them. I go to Ash, Sean, and Boosted. They're totally cool with it. I have no idea why these guys don't want another hit at the road, but for whatever reason, they welcomed me to jump over them in the order. OK, well, thank you. I'm going to go let Doc yep. know, and then we're going to get it on there. Good luck. Guys not being ready to race has been a problem in the past, but I honestly thought this year was going to be different. That's why I lit a fire under everyone's ass at the beginning of the season. If everyone isn't willing to climb the list, then there's just not going to be a list anymore. There's only one way to do the list, and that's all out. I'm not going to be in charge of some half-assed list. Keep an eye on the clock for us. I don't know what that water leak was, but we need I mean, to. There's no water running. Man, it sure was running. A little concerned. I had a little bit of a water leak at the end of the race against Lutz. But when I went in there to try to figure out what was leaking, it had stopped. And I just can't figure out what's wrong. So all I can do now is turn this up so I can prove to Chief in the list the last loss was just a fluke. There you go, out there. Oh, down here. And, but is it oil or fuel or what? No, oh, it's in the middle. Backing up, I see Manny, one of my crew guys, going out there cleaning up something. It's all down here. My heart sinks. You have no idea how hard it is to release that trans brake button knowing that you're leaking water in front of those big slicks behind you. Dave bangs the light. I'm way late. Chief gets way out on front of me. The car gets into the water, and it kind of just loses traction for a little bit. But there's no way I'm catching Chief. I give him too big of a head start. Congratulations, Chief. You get to keep your number six, and I'm stuck at seven. Hey, the old girl ran good today. All I can say is I'm a number seven. That? Huh? Yeah, that'll work. What do you mean that'll work? Yeah, that's good. You want more? No, that's good. Racing first is always tough, especially when you're racing Monza, who hasn't lost a race yet. Is that everything, though? Uh, then all your spark plug wires and shit are on. Yeah, I wish I would have pulled it, though. Sorry. No, it's not your fault. It's my own fault. I should have been ready. For some reason, I'm second guessing everything on my car right now. We're always adjusting things. We're always changing stuff. But for whatever reason, right now, I can't get it out of my head that maybe I forgot something. Good? Yeah. Not to mention, I just watched one of my best friends roll his car in the same lane I'm about to go down. So I'd be lying if I said that wasn't in the back of my head a little bit. Oh, I hope. This thing does what it's supposed to do. Better take away his undefeatedness. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we ready? Yeah. I think so. Good, Good luck. Thank you. Love, Love you. you. Mons is on fire lately, and I'm going to need to lay down a fast pass to outrun him. You got to be able to block out all the mental distractions and worry about the task at hand. And the task at hand tonight is giving 4 0 Monza his first loss of the season.
This one, yeah? Official call. Yeah. Stand by. Oh. Ooh. Woo. Stand by. That's what I'm talking about. My kind of racing. <clears throat> yes, sir. I, my my big deal is I want to make sure. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good one. Ah, Good one. My big deal is I want to make sure. I love too close. those. We still ain't got it. They have been within a car. Yeah. I don't know what they call it, but the they person calling call it doesn't know me either. You get it? Call. No, 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 no. I think I got around him. Yeah, we don't know. What a drag race. Nice race, baby! I'm pretty sure I was out on Monda till about half track. I think I held him off, but he was definitely catching me. It was super close. I still think I won. Either way, first time first one down the road again tonight. Right beside Steve's. I think job. I drove around me. It, it looked like on this end. I mean, I went BAM and grabbed that <laughs> button. I knew you would. I knew you would. I wasn't taking any chances. Like about 95% sure I got around him. Because when I I mean we were side, it was it was like this when I pulled it. It was like that the whole way. I think he was out on the, at the most ever a fender. That's good, then. I was thinking, I thought he got out on you about a car, half a car to a car. Fender to a half a car. It is hot. Great. It is It is not happy. It is not happy. What part? The motor? Huh? The motor? Yeah, motor and a tranny. I thought it was going to catch on fire. Why? I don't know. It's smoking like crazy in there. Well, I mean, that's from the oil. Last night, I had my hat, so I was blowing the smoke away at my hat, but tonight I was just watching it like, oh my God, I'm gonna sit here and get ca caught on fire. I won't be able to get it started. Some valve cover gaskets helped a lot because I didn't have smoke going everywhere when uh, I got down there. I noticed that. I... They're still seeping a little bit. Yeah. Nothing like they were. Check her over real good, John. Monza, this is for yeah, if Monza. Monza can, be, this, what, this five would be, five would be his first loss if, if he yeah. loses. <laughs> or he going five and oh. He going five and oh. Nice. Job. Okay, fellas. Well, is this a tough call for you? Is it tough? Is it close? There's an issue. Oh man. They are going to a third overhead view camera. Oh, is that close? One frame. You are literally from your cooler to the finish line. The very next frame, you are three feet past it. That's how fast we're going. You, you are <laughs> side by side. Awesome. Hey, Look at you. We're so just going to call it a tie, and we're both going to take a win. <laughs> win. 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 They're going to a third view. We're now using the film crew's slow-mo, high-speed, bad boy camera they have down there. But on one of the closest races we've ever had, there was an issue with that camera. So now they're basically pulling all the camera footage they have from everything they got and they're putting it all together so that Dominator can look at the footage and then make the best call he knows how. Well, Mr. Racemaster, where are we at? First of all, I'm gonna say I don't like your job. Not even a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the aerial view, it's the same. One frame is from here to the finish line and the next one is two and Two feet Do you have a frame on the finish line? Negative. Then you can't call it. I cannot make a fair decision for either one of you. If I make a decision for you, I'm screwing you. And if I make a decision for you, I'm screwing you. Yeah, but I get to screw you next time, so I'd make the decision for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's just point. not right. Yeah. Dude, that's just not right. It's fun when I'm not the race master. I, this is I great. Understand. I get to be with no, you guys. No. This is up, Dom. You know what's going on. This is up. I mean, I work my ass off. <laughs> call it, Dom. Yeah. Honestly, fellas, I, I, 
Call it. I can't. Okay. And hey, we have to respect the race master's decision, even if we don't like it, right, Monza? Okay. That's hey, hey, next time, next time you want to be the decision maker, by all means, jump over there and say, hey. Look. I get why Mons is mad about the no call situation. I'm about 90% sure I got around him. I thought you did too, because Chief's car made some sort of move yeah. over there, and then I was like, oh, well, it's over. But from what I can tell, there was nothing else Dominator could do. In the heat of the moment, nobody wants to hear that they can't make the call. But we have to be able to respect the race master's decision, and we have to move on. <laughs> Be safe, man. Love you, baby. You too, bro. Coming off my last list race with Ryan where he kicked my ass, I got to race Lutz. I need to race Lutz. Let's have fun. But we're not going to have fun. I'm going to yeah. take it. It's on now, b Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lutz is making big moves with his car. He's definitely a force to be reckoned with. I'm not going to take him lightly. If we win, Lutz can't call us back out. We come back here. We turn the car around. We call Ryan out. There's still a chance we leave here tonight number one. I belong in the number one spot. I need to be racing for the number one spot. And in order to show that, I want everybody to know that I can beat the number three. Lay it down, slide it back. That's it. I'm nervous because on the street, I've never raced Chief. I've raced him on the track, but not the street. And that's no joke right there. That's one hell of a battle. All right. Yep, let's do this. I saw the light plain as day. I let off the button, and my car clocked in and put in work. Both cars were fast. I saw him. He was out on me for a split second, but hand grenades and horseshoes. That was the fastest pass I've ever made on the street, ever. Bro. Hey, you remember whenever you said you wanted to make a statement? Dude. Damn. un -fucking re Hey, dude. Damn. After defending my spot against Lutz, what am I gonna do here? I can't be the best number two. I can't be the number one gatekeeper. You know what I mean? So I gotta call Ryan back out. I gotta take another shot at that crown. After that lick, I feel like I proved that I earned where I'm at and I'd like another shot. So if you wanna race, I'm calling you out. Let's do it. That's right. Cool. Good luck, brother. Yep, you too. You know this was gonna happen, Ryan. Hi, buddy. Big dick. What's up? <laughs> Come to call you out. Oh, uh, yeah, I knew you would. We'll be able to fit it in tonight. Well, uh, is that going to happen I tonight? Will. Yeah. Are they going to huh? do it? Yeah. Just let me get my shit cooled down and yeah, two minutes. we'll get up here. <laughs> the race against Chief was not a total loss because that gave me the data I need to race Dave again. I feel like we just did this. You can call it this time. We'll All right, I'll call it. What lane do you want? Left. You can have it. There you go. Right. Don't need to flip. Let's That's do cool. it. Hell yeah. Shitting me. Hey, bro. Second race with Jeff Lutz, we do our burnouts. And as I'm slowing down, I hit the brake, my door lays on the street. It breaks a top hinge. It's never happened. I've never seen it. It's broke. You think it'll stay? At the end of the night, I'm not going to race Jeff Lutz and take the risk of my door flying off, hitting his car, or going through his windshield. It's just not that important to risk someone else's life. So 
I made a pretty good hit. I come back and find out Dave's door fell off. You blew the doors off without even <laughs> running them. <laughs> okay. Hey, number three. God damn it. Woo! Flip it. That's a head's going. That's a head's going. That's a tail's going. All right. Thanks, fellas. Yep. Skin, I'm, excited. Skin, I'm excited to do it again. Yeah, yeah I mean, you get yeah, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in. Whatever. Right. I'm in. What I'm in. You know me, I'm in for whatever. Yeah, I'm in. Yep, for sure. You know, after the big list shakeup the other night, it feels good to defend the spot. You know, it's one thing if you can get back there, but then you got to defend it. There's a bunch of fast cars on this list. Chiefs is no slouch by any means. I always try to take that car extremely seriously. I always try to be on the light because if I'm not, he's going to be right in front of me, and I'd rather him be right behind me. All right, let's go do this. Give me that crown, baby. I want everything to work perfectly. I don't want any mistakes. I don't want any hiccups. I don't want any little thing to get in the way of us clocking in, rotating Earth, and proving that number one spot is mine for good. As soon as we start to stage the cars, he goes on his trans brake and it's blowing shit out of the exhaust and it just fogged my whole window over. So I'm trying to see, I can't see Dave, I had nothing. So I rolled forward, stopped, grabbed the trans brake and just wait on a light or a movement or something and I saw a flash of something and I went. I let go of the button, car hooked up good, planted well and made a good solid hit on that road. Towards the end, he was right there, he was close, so I know it was a good close race, but hey, for me it was a good solid pass and a win's a win. Ah! Good job. Woo! Thank you. Let's go, big dog. We gotta go collect some money. Yeah? Who's gonna do that? I bet you. Come on. Tell them congratulations. You got all the good shit. We gotta collect some money. All right, guys. Good race, homie. Yep. Good job, fellas. Good job. Uh, nice job, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Good thanks. Yeah, thanks, good brother. Good. Appreciate you. We'll all right, right I, know, I, know, I know we'll get to do this again, so. Oh, yeah. One of these days, I'll get my shit together. Until then, you can just keep taking my money, beat my ass. You know, I'm gonna enjoy this victory for all of about five or 10 minutes because as soon as we jump in the truck, I'm gonna make freaking Rican drive and I'm gonna get on the laptop and study data all the way home. All right, I'm, all taking, right. I'm taking my number two ass home again. Good job, we'll see you here in a couple hey. days. Thanks, good fellas. Good job, good job. Respect everybody good job. Always. Farm truck and Asian called. They're putting on a daily driver race and every daily driver I've been involved in, I've always took the man van. Yeah. But they changed one rule, and uh, we're going to be on a hard tire this year. Mm. I think that we have the perfect car, and it's sitting right behind me. So the orange Chevelle is my son Aiden's car. We've been building it for a while, and we decided to race it instead of the man van. Uh, on a hard tire, it doesn't make near the power that the man van makes. And hard tire on a no prep street, the car that makes the least amount of power has a good shot of winning this deal. So you really think Farm Truck is gonna let me drive in the daily driver race? No, that's not what I said. I don't, I absolutely don't think they're gonna let you drive in the daily driver race. Are you, you got a license? No, but I can drive. I agree. Like the car was built for me to drive. This is my first car ever. And I think I should drive in the first daily driver race that this thing's gonna be in. Man, hey, that is, that is, that is all good, good facts. What about your driver's license? It's just a piece of paper. I can, well, I can drive better than most 16. It's a laminated 16. piece of paper from can, the state, though. I can drive better than most 16-year-olds in Oklahoma. I look, I'm not doubting that. Like, I don't care if we win. I just care that it's out there, it makes a good pass, and we can get some stuff like to know what we need to take this car to the next level. I'll be honest with you, man. I, I don't know what everybody else is bringing, but on that tire, it's going to be the equalizer. Okay. So I feel like we got a shot.
The wait is finally over. The daily grind is going down tonight. We've got everything from all-wheel drive Jeeps. We've got dually pickup trucks. We even have exotic cars like Porsches involved. But at the end of the day, the equalizer is that tire, a 300 Treadwear hard tire. What is this? That is a tire. Dang, that's a big radial, isn't it? Yeah, that's what's supposed to be on it. So before we go on this long cruise to get to the spot, me and Farmer are going to go over all these cars with a fine-tooth comb. And if we see any funny business and you don't pass tech, you're out. Let's this... make sure that this thing is legal. Uh, Already I see something illegal. What do you see? What? Aftermarket zip tie. Oh, you see that? What is this, sir? Zip tie. Huh? Wait till we uh, turn that into forensics. I cannot Stop confirm back. or deny that that is illegal. <laughs> well, no cage. No cage. Not much race car stuff. You got a little bit, but the important no... thing is you got the tire. We're asking everyone to turn off their traction control. And everybody's going to definitely do that. Yes. <laughs> on the honor system, yeah. for sure. All right, so, dude, you got two power? You got nitrous and a procharger? No, it's, that's nothing. <laughs> nothing. No, it's nothing? That's nothing. I don't know about you, Asian, but I think we have a pretty good field tonight. A pretty good field that's uh, feeling out the rules a little too much. <laughs> yeah, she chose Caddy Jack with this. I tow the crow with that one. We're daily right now. <laughs> Some of them are bending them a little. <laughs> Daddy Dave. <Dave. laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of race car stuff on this. Get out of here, Dave. Ah, Dave, get out of here. Let's start the cruise. Welcome, everybody, and thanks for coming to the Daily Grind, the third one. And we appreciate everybody showing up. Thank you. So coming up is Chief versus Murder Nova's dad. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Who's going where? You got to pick a he lane. Wants the what lane? He, he wants the middle okay. lane. <laughs> so here we are, first round of Farm Truck and Asian's Daily Grind. Oh, damn it! OK. And I'm racing my dually, which I call Big Rick. Unfortunately, I drew Sean's dad, Richard. Richard has always been a big part of Sean's racing career, and since I've been best friends with Sean for almost 20 years, Richard's been a big part of my life and my racing career as well. It doesn't feel good anytime you have to race somebody who's been so supportive of you over the years, but at the same time, he's driving a Mustang, and that's his fault. Now, nothing against Murder Nova's dad, but I want Chief to win. Why? Because, because then Kamikaze and Chief oh, could draw each other. That's good. him that he'd outrun that deal. Big Chief and Big Rig with the win. <laughs> big Chief and the Big Rig for the win. I came out here with my race car in my trailer behind my dually. And when I got here, I figured I might as well have a little fun, unload the dually, and race it in the daily grind. It's a 12,000-pound, one-ton dually pickup truck. It has no business racing. But every one of my vehicles has business racing because I'm in it. So after beating Richard, I think I might win the whole damn thing. <laughs> damn it, don't honk that horn. You, you, you got it, you, you got, got it. it. <laughs> you got it. You're not honking. Still time. I want to always see my sandals, you know? My flip flops. I left the man van at home, and I'm here with Aiden Chevelle. I know Aiden snuck over and talked to Farm Truck to try to talk him into letting him drive it. It's Derek, left lane. Aiden, right lane. Did you say Aiden? Yeah, I did. OK. I'm Aiden. But you're not racing. Aiden, Aiden can I race? Yes, you can race someday. <laughs> He's 14, he's not old enough to drive in the cruise, so he couldn't race by the rules. I know he's bummed, but he still had a good time, and he's still stoked to watch me race his car. 
We're going up against Derek and his Hellcat Helenor, and we're going to see what happens. We're going to give it all it's got, and uh, I think it'll be a good race. off like a breakfast cereal. <laughs> it didn't sound great. That was a close one. What'd you got? Awesome race. Derek Travis by a fender. Derek, Derek Travis, Travis by a fender. Oh, oh, wow. So the light goes off. I left. I know I was out on him. I had a lead for most of the race, and he clipped me and just barely came around me at the, at the finish line. If we work things right, and I can call in Shane into racing first, then hopefully Doc will still be open. I feel like you can make that happen. But you know, we can't just go A to B because. Because we can't go A to B against Doc. Because we can't go A to B against Doc. Because chances are Doc will swing for it, and if he makes a pass, then our A to B is not gonna cover it. It'd be nice if we could get three or four spots tomorrow night. Yeah. So I started this season off with the Cash Days win, and I was on top of the world. But after the list shakeup and me landing at number 10, I've really struggled. I'm racing Shane and Reaper every week. I'm used to being at the top of this list. And now that the season's almost over, I need to do anything I can to move up out of the bottom. We just got to get this thing down the road, man. OK. What are you watching? TV. This is my favorite part. That's a pretty good lick. What I'm trying to figure out is why it's not wheeling anymore. It used to wheelie the whole way. Yeah, it did. I mean, that's... That's quite a ways out there, and it's still... past up. half track. Yeah, it's riding there. I was trying to get rid of some of the wheelie, and I think I got rid of all the wheelie, so I don't know. So she already, though, right? Until you decide to make some changes? Yeah, it just depends on what I do after you guys leave. This is the part where I get bored. Race the same guy for... Four Just weeks over straight, you know. and over and over. It's like Groundhog Day at the list race. I wake up, I go to the race, I race Dave. <laughs> Dave beats Ryan, then he calls me out. Yeah. And then I race him the next week. Nice Dude, job, baby. That was nice such job. a close race, bro. It's like I'm living the same day over and over again. What are you going to do about it? Make some changes to the car? Yeah, I'm going to have to. He's getting two passes a week, and I'm only getting one here. So after holding down the number one spot for most of the season, at this point, I feel like I'm just racing against myself and my car. But I'm going to bust Dave's ass one more time, and hopefully someone will make it to the top of this list and give me some competition. But Sean and I aren't the only ones with call-outs this weekend. Lutz has a call-out on Dominator for number four. And with only three call-outs going into this race, it should be a call-out fest from below once those first three races get finished. So, you know, we might make some changes. Get underneath there, sling some bars. Get some weight on them tires, man. I'm going to study the video some more. Anybody got a jump box? Anybody got a jump box? Oh, no, I don't. This car's broke. I don't have time to change out the battery before the race starts. Puts me at number nine. This really sucks. I was ready to race, and a battery takes me out. Of all things, a battery. He broke. You go. That's got to make Shane sick. <laughs> make a popcorn. Everybody wants some popcorn? Get your popcorn right here. Get it while I let off the button. It starts hauling ass. It gets out there about 1.4 into the run and starts popping and banging, and I lift it. Hey, Jay. Call I'm going to call you out. What the fuck? I didn't like that. No, it wasn't happy, was it? Hey, Doc, let me get this fixed, and then we'll race. <laughs> that cool? I, I ain't going nowhere. I mean, for me to go up, well, I have to. I'm going to call you out, then. If I know that it's not 100%, I'll let okay. you. Yeah, fair enough. 
I'm so sick of racing Dominator. Hopefully he don't call me out if I beat him and I'm not even gonna bother. I am over it. I'm done racing Dominator. This is it. Coming into the race tonight, I'm setting at number four. Lutz has called me out again. The car's working really, really well. I have one small problem. I don't have my laptop. I can't tune the car, so kind of stuck. But I have a scramble button, so I'm going to let go of the training brake and grab the button, feed it all at once until it knocks the tire off. I'm planning on putting a car link on him like I did last time, and I'm calling out Ryan for number three. Let's by three. Woo! Oh, nice job. lick. Good job, guys. Chief pulled us in. He banged the light. I let go of the button. The car hauled ass. I hit the bump. It got a little squirrely. Got out of it. Got back in it. And I made it across the finish line first. How was that? Nice hit, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, guess what? I'm calling you out. I got him. Sorry. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. We're good. You sure? Yep. Hey, while you're here, though, <laughs> we got plenty of time. Let it cool off, and you can let me know. Yeah, I don't even have a laptop. I can't even change my computer right now. Just let me know. I'm here all night. Yep. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yep. I'm not holding nobody up. I know, you know, I, got I you. never have and I never will. I got you. But if it runs like that, I'm. Hey, did you bring my crown? <laughs> I've been keeping it warm for you, baby. Hey, it's been a long time. <laughs> Chief and I have raced for the number one spot a few times this season, but the car just hasn't been right. We thought we had it together last race night, but the broken blower kept us from racing. Number one, here we come. This week, we got this thing at 100%, and we're fixing to remind everybody just how fast Goliath is. Ooh, that's all Sean's sweat. Oh, my god. For a germaphobe, that's gross. Racing Dave again for number one. At this point, it's just repetitive motion. Let's do it. turns on the flashlight. I know I'm out on him, and tragedy struck. The whole car is shaking. They drove around me and beat my ass. That was hauling ass. Yeah, it was rolling. Hey, which way is the string? Great. I feel like it's time for us to have a deeper talk than normal. With Sean, our plan has always been to be one and two. So let's pretend I'm 11. I got to figure out a way to get from here to there quickly. We got to be number one and number two. I don't care the order. And we've had that plan over and over and over again. I want to kick your ass just like you want to kick my ass. So our friendship is based on that. Perfect. So we opened up our own business, Midwest Streetcars. We worked side by side to make our cars as fast as they could be. It's a 93 Fox body. And we helped other drivers. We rescaled it, changed the suspension. We wanted to win on the street as well. Man, we'll roll to the top together. Ain't nobody else got anything for us. No. Last season, he barely even cracked the top five. My Damn. boy right there. I, you nice know, job. I never beat you before. Nice job. I know Sean's not oblivious to the fact that he's losing races and he's not making a run for number one. 
every time he loses, he spends less time at the shop. I don't know how to deal with Sean doesn't care about being number one or winning races anymore. Normally at the beginning of every season, you know, there's a part where I scream at everybody, if you don't think you got a number one car, you shouldn't be here. But then when the guy that I know has a number one car that I share a shop with doesn't seem to mind not being a number one car or even losing that much. Basically at what I'm asking is, are you over the racing thing? Because it seems like you've lost that winning attitude, the swagger, like, I don't want to alienate you or push you away, but it it is tough to share a shop it's, with two different sides of the spectrum. It's inevitable. When man. there's one guy who does the things he needs to do for his family and his life and his future, and then he does racing on the side. And then there's another guy who doesn't care about anything in the world but racing. After a while, though, then it starts to breed resentment because I am here 24 hours a day, it seems like. This is a conversation that's needed to happen for a while. Uh, I've kind of been waiting on this. Uh, there's something missing in my life right now. I love racing. It's my passion. It's what I love doing, but so is my family, you know, and my family is definitely going to come first. Chief's way of all or none being at the shop 24 seven, it definitely makes him a really good racer but that's not me. I can't be here 24 seven, and uh, I need to figure out what I wanna do and come up with what's good for me and for my life. The last thing I wanna do is to hold you up from being happy or excited. And, there, and there's a reason that I haven't been up here a whole lot. I, I mean, I'll be honest with you, man. I don't wanna come up here. I don't wanna look at the car. I don't wanna be up here. And to be honest with you, man, I've been thinking about this a lot. It may be best if I leave, you know? It will push me more into doing my own thing instead of doing your thing. Maybe that's what I need, is to not depend on somebody else. I think I need to take everything to my house and work, you know? Closer to home, I get it. I at least have to try that. I think if we keep going the way that it's going right now, there may not be a chance that we can stay friends. I don't want us to resent each other. I don't want you to resent me. I don't want to resent you. And I think that if we make this change, then that won't happen. I just want you to be happy, and what you've been doing doesn't seem to make you happy. It's it's not, man. We'll be all right. Do you, I whatever know. it is, okay. just be happy. It's been weird around here for a while because Sean hasn't been here. I've always still had that one moment at the end of the night. As I'm walking out the door, there's always my car and Sean's car. And I always say, as I'm turning the lights off, good night, Crow. We'll do it again tomorrow. Good night, Mr. Muranova. Hopefully, Sean will be here tomorrow. Now it's just good night, Crow. It just sucks. Tails. Heads. Is it heads? Let me see it. Oh. I'm going to take the left. <laughs> hey, it's a move for you to put me over hey, the right. I'll probably lose because I did it, but I'm still going to take the left. Good luck. Good luck, buddy. Yeah, that high line sucks. Yeah. OK, so I'm not real sure that it could start off any worse. Uh, another list shakeup, another first round I draw Ryan. Uh, there's not really any easy races, but I'm not sure if there's any tougher races either. The Fireball Camaro is arguably one of the fastest cars out here. So we're going to put my little bit of tuning skills to the test right here and see how we do. This line right here is my timing. I got a little bit more timing pulled out, and I got it pulled out out here all the way to where I lost the tire last night testing. This is what I had last night. I'm shortening the shift so I don't lose the tire right here, and I also pulled a little timing out of it. So it should be good. If you go number one again on the second list shakeup, it'd be pretty fast. It would be cool. I don't consider Murder Nova like a really easy draw. You know, him and I ended up testing the same spot a couple nights ago. I seen his car make some passes. It looked pretty good. I'm not going to take him lightly. But on the other side of that, there is the fact that I won the coin toss. So I'm going to stick him in the bumpy lane, which I know is going to be difficult for him, especially considering Chief's not helping him anymore. You know, he leaned on Chief a lot for tuning stuff. He's doing it on his own. Maybe this is the best time to get a hold of him. <laughs> I do feel like there's more pressure on me right now. There's more pressure on me to step up to the plate for me to shine. I'm going to be doing this on my own. 
Every pass I make, I'm gonna be trying new things that I haven't tried before. And some of them's gonna work, some of them's not gonna work. Good luck, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Do what you do. My goal this season's pretty simple, man. I got a number one car. I feel like everybody on the list knows I got a number one car. I just gotta prove it. Are we ready? Yep. Yeah. The call down there. By a semi. I tried new tires. I spun. I had to pedal it a couple of times. And if you make any mistakes against him, you're going to lose. So I really thought that these new tires were going to give me a step up. But right now, I obviously don't know how to use them. We're going to go ahead and put the old tires back on that we have had success with before and see how we do. Good look, you ever see him? Nope. Hey, you left on <laughs> Thank God I was able to outrun him this time. At least I'm guaranteed a spot in the top five. All right, well, let's see what the data looks like. Good run. What are you going to do, man? Yeah. Boy, it was upset, though. It shook like a Racing the car out of my own shop, not getting any help, is it's, it's going to force me to be a better tuner. It's going to force me to check everything on the car, and hopefully uh, I'll get good enough and learn how to make the right decisions for my car and my team. But one thing's for sure, the murder Nova belongs here and so do I.